Hi there, thanks for clicking on the AkronNewsNow.com update. I'm Lindsay McCoy. Akron police have tracked down a suspect in the shooting of an Iraqi war veteran who was shot and killed near the University of Akron last week. Detectives and officers from the Akron Police Department worked around the clock on the homicide. They canvassed the East Exchange Street area several times, conducted many interviews, and were able to identify Ephraim Johnson as the suspect. 50-year-old Johnson is charged with aggravated murder, and he is now sitting in the Summit County Jail. Some news for parents. Some Ohio students will need more shots to start next school year. The state will require students entering kindergarten and seventh grade to be vaccinated to keep up with changes in the federal immunization guidelines. Spokesperson for the Ohio Department of Health, Jen House, says this was designed to prevent specific diseases like chickenpox and the whooping cough. Uh, a second dose of chickenpox vaccine will be required for children who enter kindergarten as well as a final dose of polio vaccine on or after their fourth birthday. The Rubber City Roller Derby girls are kicking off their second season with hopes that their speed skating training will help them pass their competitors. <laughs> Iced up their skates just for their second season. The Rubber City Roller Girls hit the indoor track in front of a packed crowd at the John S. Knight Center to take on the Kilmazoo Derby Darlings. You're likely to catch a girl if you sit up front. You're likely, likely to catch somebody because when they fall, we slide on this concrete pretty hard. While they didn't win, the team is prepared for bouts ahead as head coach Christopher Soulsby, also known as Soul Man, has his team working hard to catch up to be quick on their feet. You have to be able to not only skate well, but you have to be able to take a hit while you're on the skates and not be knocked down every time. Um, these girls learn to be very stable, very agile, um, and we also do uh, concentrated speed training, so they learn to be very fast. Thanks to the 2009 flick Whip It, directed by Drew Barrymore, the movie has injected new interest into the sport. I like the taste of fresh meat. And while the rules may be different, like no punching or tripping, it's helped the team grow. I think the movie helped with our recruiting efforts okay. because people went out to look to see what was out there. It's a game that Slicer says she'll never give up. I would never stop dirty, like no matter what. If they tell me my knees can't handle it, then I'll coach. If they tell me I can't coach, then I'll referee. If they tell me I can't do anything, I'll stand in the front row and cheer my butt off because it is life. Lindsay McCoy, Akron News Now. And if you're interested in learning more about how to play roller derby, you can check out our full story on AkronNewsNow.com. It's in the local sports section. Well, I hope you have an umbrella handy today. We have a high of 52 degrees today, 100% chance for showers, so you will see rain all day long. 47 degrees on Tuesday. We do have rain showers likely. It's about a 70% chance before the noon hour on Tuesday. Low of 33 degrees. As we go into our next five-day forecast, Wednesday, high of 53 degrees, partly sunny skies. Thursday will stay in the 50s, high of 54. With partly sunny skies, you will see a slight chance for a rain-snow mix overnight. And Friday looks like we'll dip down to a little cooler in the low 40s, 42 degrees, with mostly sunny skies. Continue to follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news, for news online, on demand now. And don't forget, you can always check out our latest news updates on Facebook and Twitter, too. For AkronNewsNow.com, I'm Lindsay McCoy. Yeah. <laughs>